So I see you standing over here next to this group, right? Pro yeah. Life group. Yeah. Um, so you're not part of the anti-gun uh, demonstration. Walk not for really. lives? No, not, not at all. No. So you're, I'm you're, really just here for the pro-life people. I, you know, but right. I can't ignore all this. So. You can't ignore yeah. all this. Yeah. <laughs> they happen to be on your day. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say, like uh, the pro-life uh, argument, uh, when I when I when I look at it universally, mm -hmm. would be very. Uh, Anti-government, myself. Yeah. Right. Anti-government has taken a tremendous amount of lives in the past century mm -hmm. alone, over 250 million. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that uh, universalizing the pro-life position to also include anti-government? I don't know about that. Uh, I think there's no real way to enforce like a pro-life stance without some sort of government regulation. So, and like I'm not, I'm not an anarchist. You know, like you know, like I, I can support some forms of government, even in their you know incompetent forms. So. But you would say, like, why are you pro-life then? I'm pro-life because I think that uh, it's just better for overall society, like for people to be more personally responsible rather than, you know, just being promiscuous or something and just aborting the child in the end. Because you, you value the life of a human being. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And, uh, and you're against... I, I definitely think, like, the, uh, the fetus is basically a, a human being. Okay. Yeah. And so from that, you want to protect that and you're against anything that would threaten harm mm -hmm. to that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, then when we look at government and the very nature of government, then it must first commit and initiate that very harm to people through yeah. taxation, though. That's true. That's right? True. It, like, if you don't pay pay your taxes, mm -hmm. what happens? Well, the door is going to bust it in. The door gets busted in, right? Yeah. If you try to escape or run away, it'll get, you know, your life is at risk, yeah. right? Being murdered, mm -hmm. right? So don't you think then the pro-life position would be also anti-tax then? That's true. Right? That's true. Um, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, so, like, what do you think then of... Um, the arguments a lot of people are saying then in terms of uh, being anti-gun, uh, gun-free zones, do they work? No, and uh, like all these people can say whatever they want, but I mean, this is not a gun-free zone and that's the only reason why they're safe, because yeah. there's snipers all around us. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's yeah. It's kind of funny, here in D.C. you have like mm -hmm. one of the largest gun regulations mm -hmm. in the country, and so really high homicide rates, yeah. right? Yeah. It's not like, so you know, at the very hard here you can see that it's not working, yeah. or preventing the necessary deaths that regulations are perceived to prevent, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I, I I think a lot of these people are kind of like in an ivory tower because they kind of ignore what happens in the ghetto, you know, in Anacostia and Southeast. So. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good bubble that they live in, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like places in Chicago, a lot of regulation going mm -hmm. on there. A lot of that's still going on, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so, very, very, what is your, um, I guess, where do you believe your right to defend yourself comes from then? Uh, definitely just from the Constitution. Constitution? Yeah. yeah. But the Constitution states it's inalienable. Yeah. So for them, it says it doesn't even come from the Constitution. They just make the claim that it's a natural right to defend yeah. yourself. And right? I don't completely agree with the concept of natural rights, maybe, but... Well, if, if there was no piece of paper called the Constitution, uh, your, your natural rights to defend yourself from yeah. the initiation, right? Yeah. You, you'll still hold on to that, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I don't consider that a natural right. I think maybe that's like more of an instinct or something, but... Yeah, you could say that. Some people say it comes from God, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, don't steal, but what are taxes but theft? Don't murder, you know, mm. what is government but uh, war on peaceful people, right? Mm. Yeah, we uh, so what areas of government would you say you do advocate for then? I don't know, uh, maybe certain public services, like uh, welfare to an extent. Uh, welfare? Uh, very, to a very low extent, I mean, like, it should be, it shouldn't, it should be something to get people on their feet, you know what I mean? Uh, Doesn't seem to have a track history in the couple yeah. decades of so, doing that. I, I think that we can reform it, maybe, to actually probably just kick people off after a certain point, at a far shorter point. I think, like, you can be on it for, like, two years or something without just uh, the aid being stopped, so I think it should be shorter than that, something like that, but, uh, I can't really think of any, another thing that I like very strongly support. So you're looking for like community network yeah. to support like yeah. that, right? Don't you think then if like half their income were unrobbed through taxes, we'd have a lot to kind of yeah. help around our communities, yeah. right? And that's a good point. Like I, I definitely support private charities. I want to be like part of an NGO in the future. Like I, right. that, I, I think the government fails a lot of the time and blocks people from, you know, doing more. But Right. Yeah. And we see like before Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security and the Welfare mm -hmm. Progress or uh, the war on poor people, yeah. right? The uh, L, um, LBJ Johnson put yeah, out yeah. there. You had black fraternities. You had mutual mm -hmm. aid societies mm -hmm. that were doing this very and, thing. Right? I mean, even like something uh, as flawed as like the Black Panthers, obviously, like a leftist group like that. Yeah. At least they were helping each other. Right, each other, so. right, right. Yeah. No, I 100% I agree with you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, trying to find where, where do we disagree? I don't know. Maybe on roads. <laughs> <'Cause> evil roads. <laughs> Those are so hard to create. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, where, where is your interest in? Um, Tours property rights come from then, or uh, capitalism, I'll say, in general, right? Or, yeah. or the market? Yeah. Why, why do you advocate for that? 
Well, I advocate it because it's the best system that we have right now. I mean, there's no other, there's no other like system that has come out to be maybe as fair. Not in the sense that we're just handing everything to everyone, but that has the you know ability to be fair in the first place. So, right. I don't know. It is a great uh, mm -hmm. way to reward entrepreneurs so to yeah, take those kinds yeah, of risks, yeah. right? And you could say the market punishes those with bad ideas. Like <laughs> nobody says a tier when Blockbuster closed this last door, yeah. right? Or towards arrest now, right? Yeah. But at least they're not uh, subsidized yeah. right, by yeah, the government yeah. by for their losses, mm -hmm. right? Uh, seems like government does a really good job in doing that yeah. in terms of uh, Wall Street and the housing bubble collapse mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Um, all right, well, I would say then, uh, you know, looking more, you're saying like you're not an anarchist and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, what part of uh, anarcho-capitalism do you find, well, you know, a little definitely troublesome? just the anarchist part. Like, I don't think it's really realistic for a state to exist with no government to just protect the state itself. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I would love the concept as a whole, but it just it's not realistic for uh, 2018. You know what I mean? So you feel That's like problem. in terms of you're saying protection? And so like, how do you yeah, like, like how, why, why would we not just have like, you know, warlords or something like that? You know what I mean? Like it, the, the, whatever anarcho-capitalist like land would just be taken over, I would assume. But, Don't you but maybe think that's, we have warlords right now? Yeah, good. Right? That's, hey, true, that's true. That's true. That's true. First, you didn't pay your uh, your tithes or, you know, your tribute, yeah. property taxes yeah, yeah. in Detroit. That's Come a good point, take care of your point. house, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you will sign the Supreme Court cases and many of them numerable. Mm -hmm. Warren versus D.C., uh, DeShaney versus uh, Winnebago County. I said mm -hmm. there's no obligation to protect life, liberty or property. Yeah. But I mean, I also think that there's not really a difference between like a private entity and a government like oppressing people. And I feel like in an anarchy, obviously like you have the non-aggression principle, but like I feel like in an anarcho-capitalist society, there would not be as much like enforcement for certain rights. So, I don't know. Uh, okay. Have you ever, have, again, like that yeah, might yeah, yeah, be yeah. my ignorance. Yeah, yeah. On, have you ever heard of uh, the Pinkertons? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. So like one of the largest private company organizations in the country mm -hmm. had the most armed security forces more than the United States government mm -hmm. military combined. I don't know. And they never uh, conquer cities, counties, towns. They were the precursor to the FBI. The hmm. government shut them down, and they created the FBI based on what they were doing. Ignorance, feelings over facts. <laughs> but right, we should uh, connect later yeah. sometime. Well, it's, 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 it's meant to kill people. Fully automatic rifle. That's sure. Defend yourself yeah. from those who seek fully to kill you. It's, yeah. it's meant to kill things. Okay, so so if I'm walking down the street, yeah, and a man is coming out with at me with a gun, yes. right? I just happen to pull out my AR-15, and I'm okay, going to protect okay. myself. So what does AR-15 stand for? What does AR stand for? Assault rifle. Yeah, no, wrong. Armalite. Armalite is the manufacturer, okay? How can you be advocating against a gun that you even know what, 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 it, what it means? Exactly. What does WWW stand for? Hey, what is... World Wide Web. Oh, good job. Oh, yeah, yeah, good job, yeah. Oh, AR-15 stands strong, for assault guys. rifle. Oh yeah. man! Yeah. I mean, I didn't say that, but all right. Yeah, but you didn't know, and he's coming out saying it. Okay, I think it to take some more time to kind of look into some of this information than parroting the propaganda stuff that whatever school bus that's, is bringing you in. That's where are you okay. coming from? What school are you coming from? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I don't know. I don't know the, don't know the, the, the technical. Yeah, the technical you should look into it instead of parading what your teachers are telling to say.